Good evening, Norfolk Public Schools families and students. Welcome to our virtual specialty program showcase. This evening, our schools have the pleasure of sharing with you the unique opportunities they provide to middle and high school students in our city. For our students who will be beginning their middle school journeys in 2022, we offer a variety of programs to engage them in exploring their options for their further education and eventual careers. Middle schoolers can explore the curriculum through inquiry-based learning in our IB Middle Years program, delve into STEM fields, including medicine and engineering in two of our programs, approach learning from an international perspective in our Academy of International Studies, or enter into a highly rigorous program of studies for our most advanced learners in our Young Scholars program. For our high school students, we offer specialized academies designed to inspire our students through real world experiences and rigorous curricula as students prepare for college and careers. These programs include the Academy of the Arts, several STEM-based programs, including the Medical and Health Specialties Academy and the Leadership Center for Sciences and Engineering. In addition to the Norfolk Science, Technology and Advanced Research or NORSTAR program. Students can further develop their leadership skills in our Academy of Leadership and Military Science, or they can further explore the curriculum using an inquiry-based global approach in our International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Please stay tuned to learn more about each of our programs tonight. The application and further information about each program will be available starting November 16th, 2021 on our website. On the top menu bar, click For Parents and then Specialty Programs. I hope you enjoy learning about each of our programs this evening. Hello, my name is Abby Watson and I am the principal of Academy for Discovery at Lakewood, an international baccalaureate middle year program authorized school. ADL is one of two IB middle year schools in Hampton Roads. ADL is a grade three through eight lottery based school. The IB middle year program begins in grade six. So what is International Baccalaureate and why is this important? Well, the mission of IB is to develop inquiring, knowledgeable and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. These programs encourage students across the world to become active, compassionate and lifelong learners who understand that other people with their differences can also be right. In order to align to the mission of IB, we embed what we refer to as the IB Learner Profile in all aspects of a student's education. The International Baccalaureate Learner Profile describes a broad range of human capacities and responsibilities that go beyond academic success. They imply a commitment to help all members of the school community learn to respect themselves, others, and the world around them. We invite our students to become inquirers, thinkers, communicators, and risk takers. We guide them to become knowledgeable, principled, open-minded, caring, balanced, and reflective. We are confident that these traits will prepare students for life beyond the classroom, giving them the tools for success. In many education programs, our first look is at subject matter. However, at ADL, we begin with the IB, IB Learner Profile. We strive to ensure our students have the skills necessary to succeed beyond Norfolk Public Schools. ADL staff takes a different approach to teaching by infusing each unit with global context, concepts, and approaches to learning, which interrelates concepts between courses and the community. All students take eight courses, which includes a design course, language acquisition, commonly referred to as foreign language, and a course in fine arts. During eighth grade, each student is also required to participate in a community project. One very distinct difference between our IB Middle Year program and other specialty programs is our assessments. In MYP, all assessments and grades are based on a rubric. Using a rubric requires a student to explore the concepts being taught at a deeper level of understanding beyond multiple choice. We are proud to announce that ADL students have the potential to earn eight high school credits and participate in a variety of clubs and middle school athletics. 
For many students, moving from a traditional method of learning to a global holistic approach can be a challenge. We welcome all students to apply for the IB Middle Year Program with the following considerations for success. How do you respond to adversity or challenge? Can you handle increased rigor and manage your time to balance your academic responsibilities? Will you self-advocate when assistance is needed? If you've answered yes to these questions, we invite you to apply to be a part of our Lakewood Eagle family. Hi, I'm Dr. Doyle, the proud principal of Blair Middle School. At Blair Middle School, we believe all students deserve the opportunity to perform to their greatest strength. It is the goal of the pre-med health and engineering program to provide students with a learning environment that is challenging, engaging, and interesting. Our unique specialty program is designed for students with a passion for future careers in the medical, healthcare, and engineering fields. Our unique program provides students with many opportunities to earn high school credits in math, science, social studies, and electives. Several new classes were introduced this year, including environmental science and research topics in science. Check out the 3D cell model made with the tortilla, cheese, avocado, and cucumber, and much more. It made for a delicious lunch and a terrific learning experience. Seminars taught by leading professionals help to inspire our future doctors, scientists, and engineers. Our students virtually visited the Philadelphia National Constitution Center and the Smithsonian. An athletic trainer spoke to our students about NFL player injuries. Research scientists gave students a, a Zoom view of glaciers. Students' questions kept a biomedical engineer from Hampton University busy and engaged. Blair students won first place in the Lego competition. Our SCA was recently awarded the Virginia Student Council Achievement Award, one of 27 student councils in Virginia to receive this prestigious award. We have previously won the underwater robotics competition. Each year, students commit to several community-based projects. We will continue to have several family events throughout our school year. For our families, we are proud of the partnerships we have established with our community. Blair teachers and administrators make ourselves available and listen to your needs to better serve our students. We are active on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, so please check them out to see our commitment to our staff, students, families, and community. We continue to be a leader in education and teaching because of our relationships with our community. Invest in Blair and you will enter into a family for the next three years. Our commitment to you, Blair Middle School will provide opportunities for family engagement and school-wide literacy using instructional technology in preparation for our global society. Here are a few voices from our students in the program. According to Nathan, it is nice to be with people that share common interests. Owen loves that teachers are always willing to help. Emerson believes this program has set her up for future success. And Alana simply states she loves being in the program. Welcome to Blair. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Hello, rising sixth graders, and welcome to the MPS Middle School Specialty Programs Showcase. My name is Mrs. Tiffany Williams, and this is my 14th year serving as school counselor for the Academy of International Studies at Rosemont. The Academy of International Studies at Rosemont focuses on world languages, world cultures, and military science. Our program is designed to stimulate curiosity and the love of learning while also concentrating on the skills of critical and analytical thinking. Our program is also designed to provide students with a strong academic foundation and an international perspective that promotes understanding and appreciation of other countries and their cultures. We also foster independence and responsibility as well as encourage creativity, cooperation, and compassion. We prepare our students to live and work more effectively in a world that is becoming increasingly interdependent. We assist our students in building a sense of pride, patriotism, self-reliance, discipline, self-esteem, personal honor, integrity, confidence, and the other qualities which mold strong character and citizenship. And lastly, we develop our students' strategic thinking, problem solving, and leadership skills through a study of military science. We are so very proud of our Naval Cadet leaders. 
This National Youth Leadership Development Organization promotes interest and skill in naval disciplines while instilling moral character and life skills through leadership and technical programs. AOIS focus on world cultures and languages means that, student, that we offer several languages to our students, including Spanish, French, Latin, and Chinese. Our partners include NATO and the Norfolk Sister Cities, which are located all over the world. Finally, as part of the International Studies curriculum, our students complete the program with a capstone project. So we hope that you will consider this great opportunity to join the Academy family at Rosemont. Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Toomey, the Middle School Assistant Principal at Southside STEM Academy at Campus Stella. Today I'd like to talk to you about our STEM specialty program for the middle school. At Southside STEM Academy at Campus Stella, we incorporate problem and project-based learning. The purpose of this specialized program is to increase the early student value and awareness in the STEM areas of science, technology, pre-engineering, and mathematics. Recently, there's been a refocus within STEM, and traditionally, STEM has been focused on creating a pipeline of students that are prepared for a STEM-specific workforce. Today, the focus is in developing STEM literate citizens prepared for any 21st century profession. STEM literacy is the ability to identify and acknowledge science, technology, engineering, and mathematic concepts in the processes of everyday life. STEM literacy actually comes from the understanding that there is a scientific approach to observe and interpret the world. Technology serves as a tool to solve problems or reach a goal. Engineering is helping us to be able to design, test, and solve a problem through the creation of products or processes. Uh, mathematics helps us to quantify, comprehend, and evaluate the problem and solution success. And today's economy requires people to be critical and creative thinkers, excellent communicators, collaborators, and community-minded citizens. And that relates to the four C's of STEM, where we work on collaboration, where we listen, share, and work with others. I can support others as a team to reach a common goal. We also have communication, where I can share my ideas and ask questions to explain my thoughts to better understand the ideas of others. It's extremely important. We also want to look at critical thinking, where we think about asking questions, analyzing situations, solving problems, and making connections in learning across content areas. And the next part is creativity. I can combine unique ideas in a variety of innovative ways to get things done or make something new. At Southside STEM, we have various academic offerings, and each of the offerings that you see in the orange, Art 1, Spanish 1, Algebra 1, Geometry, World Geography, Environmental Science and Technology Foundations are all high school credit bearing classes that your child could take in our building and enter into high school with. That's a lot of classes to be able to get in middle school towards your graduation. We also have future problem solvers, career and technical education, and computer science. With the activities that we have at Southside STEM, we have the Girls Club, the Cardinal Gentlemen's Club, the Chrome Club, First Lego League, Navy Sea Perch Program, the STEM Expo that we show, case all of the students work, and what we offer in the building. We also have robotics, student government, 21st century after school program, the Cardinal Remediation Program, the National Junior Honor Society, intramural sports, and our STEM sports program in combination with the MBA. We also have interscholastic sports that our students can participate in as we collaborate with Ruffner Academy. So we have fall, winter, and spring sports that the students can participate in, and they take a bus over to Ruffner Academy to try out and participate in those athletic activities with the other school. At Southside STEM Academy at Campus Stella, we are looking to have our Cardinals rise to new heights, and we hope that you will have your scholar apply to come to our building. Thank you. Greetings, good evening. My name is Carla Stead. I'm Senior Coordinator of Gifted Education and Academic Rigor Services. And I'm proud to tell you about Norfolk Public Schools Young Scholars Program. The Young Scholars is Norfolk Public Schools program for highly motivated middle school students identified as gifted. This school within a school is housed at Rosemont Middle School Academy with specially trained faculty who provide challenging and unique instruction. Like Albert Einstein, we at the Young Scholars believe education is not just about teaching facts. It's about the training of the mind. 
Therefore, the Young Scholars Accelerated Curriculum is built around established principles of gifted education. We also emphasize excellence, but not just in academics, but in character. A young scholar is committed to continuous intellectual and ethical improvement. We know the significance motivation plays on a child's educational experience. This coincides with research that shows students become more motivated when given choice and ownership of their learning. This is where the autonomous learner module comes in. Students learn how to take the wheel and drive their own learning. The autonomous learner module, or ALM, is an educational model designed to promote gifted ed students' growth towards independent, self-directed learners. Young scholar teachers have all been specially trained in the philosophies and strategies of ALM, and students have these same teachers throughout their three-year program. Plus, their core classes are cohorted, meaning they consist only of their young scholars' peers. Young Scholars Curriculum meets the unique needs of academically motivated gifted adolescents through differentiated instruction focused on acceleration, depth, pro problem solving, and higher order thinking. More specifically, sixth grade scholars enroll in a unique autonomous learner program, elective, for, to prepare them to become self-directed learners. Starting grade seven, scholars enroll in a number of high school credit courses, including algebra, geometry, earth and environmental science, world geography, and foreign language. Scholars are also encouraged to take part in academic after-school enrichment as well as athletics. Please note the Young Scholars is 100% criteria-based and is not a lottery program. Students are selected on merit. Students must live in Norfolk, be identified gifted. Positive grades, attendance, and discipline are all taken into consideration along with a well-developed essay. The Young Scholars application process is in two phases. First, students submit the common application all rising middle schoolers complete by January 31st. Once vetted, select students are invited to an interview on March 19th, consisting of a project presentation along with a question answer segment. Students, is the Young Scholars program right for you? Are you motivated, ready to be challenged, do you want to be well prepared for high school and beyond? Then you do the math. Yes, there will be homework, possibly more than what you're used to. But if selected, we know you are up for it and will thrive, whether you know it or not. I can also attest to the special bond you'll make with your young scholars, classmates, and teachers as you find your people and have some fun along the way. To learn more about the young scholars, Mark your calendars for Wednesday, January 12th at 6 p.m. This will be a virtual information session to give you more in-depth information on the Young Scholars. You will also have the chance to hear from Young Scholars teachers and students. In the meantime, please contact our office, Gifted Education and Academic Worker Services with questions, or simply reach out to your school's Gifted Resource teacher. Thank you for your time and best wishes. I hope you have enjoyed our virtual specialty program showcase this evening. We encourage all of our families and students to read through the information that we mailed home to each family of fifth and eighth grade students in October. Use it as a reference in deciding which program might be the best fit for you. The application, brochure, and a streaming link for this showcase, if you'd like to watch it again, will also be available on our NPS website beginning November 17th. On our homepage, simply click For Parents on the top menu bar and then click Specialty Programs. I would also encourage you to visit each school's homepage as you make your decision and to reach out to us with your questions. We're here to help our students and families choose the program that best fits their interests and needs as they prepare for graduation and reaching their post-secondary goals.